Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Michelle of the 360 Gal and this is in 360. Anyhow, we took a break from doing work to work on another project. Uh, while I was gone last year, the last couple years, I lost all my bees. And we have kind of decided to get some more bees. So we drove out here to Tulsa area to get more bees. So I have a bee suit on, Aaron has a bee suit on, and the fellow that I'm buying from, everyone has a bee suit on. So it's a little dark right now. Um, yeah, we gotta get these bees out of the truck and set up before we can uh, put up the truck for the night. There's a storm coming in tonight, so we got the tractor here for the lights. We got the truck backed up. Aaron went to go grab a lighter so we can get the smoke going in the smoker. And oh, now his mom telling me the storm's almost here in this building, and we only have 30 minutes to do all this. So this will be a mad rush tonight, but um, really I'd like to get the smoker going so we can light this stuff and be protected from the bees or at least keep them calm. Otherwise I'm going to just open it up and get her done. And I'll bring you guys back in tomorrow to see the actual hive. Alright, good morning. We got the hives put up before the storm came in last night. Almost. Well, kind of. We get the hives put up, but we didn't get the truck unloaded before the storm came in. So he's unloading the truck as we was doing that. Uh, that was not fun. But we got it all done. It was like a, a mad dash yesterday to get everything done that needed to be done. Um, the main reason I got the hive was they said they'll take care of them here, so that's fine. Two, we can get our own honey again, which I've been hauling around. If you don't know, I've been hauling around uh, honey with me for the last two years in the bus. Every now and again, gave it away here and there, but uh, I still have plenty, but my dad does not. So we got two hives from a Oklahoma beekeeper. It's definitely not local. We went all the way over to Tulsa to get it. And it is a good reasonable amount. It's like $200 for a hive, one box. And that's pretty good because the nuke's usually $150 and you have to establish at least two more, maybe four more frames after that of bees. So, yeah, it was a good deal. So, we ended up getting two boxes. Um, I didn't have everything we needed, but I think it was okay. What I wanted to do is come out here and check up on the bees and see how they're doing. That looks like they all cleared off of all everything. I might need to open up the entrance more on that lower one. And they need to be leveled. Um, beehives draw their comb down due to gravity. So this one's leaning a little to the left. That one's leaning a lot to the back. But as long as left to right is the more important thing. Anyhow, if, uh, yeah, this is 360. So if you guys look that way, you'll be able to see the bees going in and out of the entrance. They actually probably need to be opened up, but they look like they're doing okay. They're, um, yeah. They're probably happy with the new thing. You see them coming out, they're getting reoriented to where they're at. And they're literally 100 miles away from where they're at. I like the guy's bee box design he put on. Uh, we'll eventually swap that over to our own things but um yeah he was getting out of the bee field thing all right that works yeah anyhow so we're gonna have to yeah these are pretty nice smooth bees they're not thumping me they're a little bit rushing me and okay, i'm sorry girls take it out of your way yep we got too close 
Uh, still too agitated. They're checking out the camera, flying around you and everything else. But you know, you see, we can be relatively far away and not a big deal. Um, when they get established, you can come out here, and I'll probably set up a chair just to come out here and sit and watch them because it is very satisfying to sit and watch bees do their job. It's funny because you can actually sit there and watch them fly in and fly out of the hive and see where they're going. They'll come out and they'll spin their circle all the way up, straight line over to the flower, and then hit the flowers, spin line back up, come back over here, drop down into the hive. That's uh, kind of where the bee line thing comes from. This one's having more bees outside. This one's not having so many bees outside, but they are moving in and out, I believe. <laughs> I don't really want to st get stung today, but I'm not really hassling them. No, there's a few guard beads on the door. You can maybe see them. I don't know if you'll be able to see them with the camera, but there's three or four bees right at the entrance. Those are the ones guarding the hive. As everyone comes, this one has a lot more guarding the hive because this one has a screen on it, a uh, plus quarter screen. Anyhow, it allows them to come in. It keeps the raccoon's fingers out. And I get a look and find out if I need to reduce the size of the opening or not. I think that's the right size opening because that's the summer part. Uh, I'm going to give them another two days to... That one... They might be hot, hot in that one. That might be why they're hanging out outside of it. And they're getting familiar with their new surroundings. Because, yeah, last night was a thunderstorm day. But I had to come out here and tear apart the hive and level it. Or maybe I'll make a top bar hive and bring two top bars out here. <laughs> we will see. Um, the, the thunderstorms came through and it did actually rain and storm pretty heavily. God, it's so hot out here. Uh, I'll get back to building soon enough. Uh, that's good though. I'm glad they're uh, oriented and finding new things. So they can pollinate around here. Since the 10 acres next door is empty and overgrown over there, we can uh, get some honey from over there also. We're just getting concerned here because... Normally, even though we lost our hives two years ago, we had a ton of bees on everything. This year, we don't have that many bees on everything. We have hardly any. Maybe one or two, but the guy last night, he told me that because of the heat, they are usually are draining all the clover, which is the white flower here, like Fortley clover, is the white flower, which is what bees eat, and for some reason... Bees and dandelions is clovers and dandelions is what bees eat, yet we spray them with pesticides because they're considered a weed. Granted, you can eat every single part of the dandelion. Every single part. This verifies the dandelion first. So we spray pesticides on it, and then we wonder why the bees are going missing. Because we're killing their food. Anyhow, that's, that's my aggravated rant for a while. Which, um, anyhow, according to Bee Guy, that the, the clovers are getting completely drained of nectar by the time the bees come out around noon. Which, there's already two bees there. Yeah, it's way more than three. Four. Okay, yeah, we're good. They'll hit the clovers now. Getting ready, I'm waiting for my help to show up. I'm getting this started. This is the smoker. And for you that don't know, smoke doesn't actually, well, it calms the bees, but not by smoke. Um, basically, it works in the way that, well, let's put it this way what's the natural en enemy of bees? What can they not control or fight back? Fire. What does the bees do when they smell fire or smoke? They go gorge themselves on honey, which makes them fat and full and a little lethargic. Lethargic. God, I can't talk right now. But uh, lethargic, or it makes it where they can't move that fast because they're full of honey. Because if a fire gets close enough, they have to abandon their heat, the beehive, 
and find a new home so they grab as much supplies as they can to do that. So that's part of it. I heard that you can use sugar water too to do the same thing. But we got smoke, we got bees. We got a honeybee now. Hey girls, I'm not standing here. I'm not close enough to your hive for you to freak out yet. Otherwise I may have to get dressed today. Really so. 360 and live stream going. But anyhow, what we're gonna do, where's that hive tool at? Oh, there's the hive tool. We're gonna come over here and smoke the bees. It's gonna make them all annoyed. They're gonna say, oh no, fire, fire, get all the honey we can. Same thing with the back side. We're gonna hit them all up. We're gonna let that sit for a while and They're freaking out and send me all their pheromones. I'm gonna pull this off. I can throw that around because they're not in that high part of the high. Anyhow, if it's longer, you just pop that off and it'll come off. It's literally just got set up to a day and a half ago, so it really doesn't need any popping. They probably already got some of it sealed. Yes, they do. There are some bees up here, which I don't know if this is broad code or not. I just threw a box on here, in all truth. Looks like too much broad code. Although, they are up here drawing the time. Looks like they've just been cleaning the time. Our bees there. It will probably thump the camera. You'll probably hear a couple thumps on it because it's the darkest object around. Anyhow, we're gonna split this here. And yet they already started gluing it. Here it's hard to see. Oh, oh. Alright, now we're into the actual hive. We're gonna I need another do you Mind grabbing me from one of these? Well, I can grab it from here. So this is a This one has no hunk comb on it either. And I'm sorry if you guys are leaving comments. <laughs> so there's a the beekeeper I bought this from. He had a couple of feeders in here. We're gonna pull out and replace them. Gonna say hi. They're gonna freak out, although they have already started doing some maintenance on the hive. Yeah, girls, I know I haven't met you, you guys haven't smelt me yet. So, Aaron's back there watching and listening. She's gonna be taking care of the bees when I'm not here will be good. Now, different bees, different beekeeper taken care of. I heard if you beat these bees around, they will be more aggravated versus if you're easy with them. So I'm going to try to be easy with them. i got two hives to do. And they're pretty close to each other. Um, put that there. Knock them out. It's a lot better than trying to take them up and do everything else. I don't know the temperament of these bees. I haven't done anything with these bees yet or worked with them. And I haven't dropped any sweat in there, so they know my pheromones. Or my smell. Some of the other things. And I'm going to just come up here and scrape off all the burr comb. Huh? Nothing really wrong with it. It's this. It needs to go and make it harder to do maintenance later on. And this will probably be the only time I open this up for a while. And I won't open it up again. There's a lot of burr coming in there. So I'm going to 
in here and show you guys. Oh, they're already starting to buzz me. They said, you're in our hive. I don't like this. Here we go. And you can kind of see them. Down in there, the light's kind of playing with it a little bit. Did you bring smoke? Yes, I did. I got smoke right here. It's sitting off camera frame, but it's here. So as long as they stay calm, you don't need to use it. So, first thing I think I'm going to do is pull out this bottom piece first, and then I'm going to pull the frames apart, check those out, spread those out. They did glue this good already. Also, another way to make them mad is kill them while you're doing this. So, Mama's supposed to go find a level for us. That's nah, not going to make me happy either. What I want to do is just eyeball level. We only need two of these here. It'll be fine as long as we don't kill any of these. That's when they get really annoyed. <laughs> Notice that they're all buzzing around me, but I seem to be okay. Also, if you weren't here earlier in the video, Theo showed back up. He is a little malnourished, and I noticed the neighbors started mowing next door, so maybe we lucked out. I got a completed bottom board now. Very annoyed bees with us. That entrance redresser. Seems like it was only too high. I'm gonna just set that there. Let them fall off of them. Make sure you guys can still see what's going on. And let's see. Helps to put the high tool in here in between the frames and pull it apart. To get it pulled apart, you can pull them out and do a quick inspection. Huh. And that's full of honey and nectar. And sometimes it's hard to see the white lava. Larva? I don't see any larva on that one. Yeah. Let's see. We'll just do this. Bumped ones. I'm gonna make sure these ain't clean cells. Uh, I think they're just real cool. Little honey in there, no clean up. I hope it's not clean cells. So, 
that so it's fine. We'll clean it all up because we don't want them. It makes it harder to do maintenance later on if that's all hanging off. So you try to cut it off so it's square. And they actually needed to be expanded earlier. So that's also another thing. One, this is hard on your back. I actually would like to get a top bar hike for both me and my family that's doing it. The top bar hive would be a lot easier maintenance. Ah, oh, there we got the root brood. We got kids. Well kept. You can see it. Oh God. You can see it there. The little white things is larva. And they're getting bigger and bigger. No fresh brood though. And you can see the honey on the outside, the lighter color is the honey and the, the bulge up stuff is the brood, which the brood is the babies. That's why I'm here, I should be looking for a queen. But because there's no recent activity here, I'm just going to take some of that off for future. Let me. Go. Oh man, I forgot how hard this is on my back. Maybe I should have put it a little higher up. Guard bees are starting to watch me. Maybe spray or pump. If you like. Oh. Is cool. there honey on it? Mm-hmm. Very nice. Do you want to hold it? Can. Um, my mom's here now. She's here to help. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Wow. Yeah, some a lot breed. of capped ones there. Oh, there's some pollen too. All right. If you see the yellow colored right in there, it's little pollen that they're putting in there. And the way it's explained to me is honey is for like energy, your carbs, and the pollen is your protein. So these are all capped. These are fixing to be full bees soon. Oh god, I killed one there. Let me get stuck. Um, yeah, it looks like we have some drone cells in the next one. Is that the big ones? Mm-hmm. Bubbly looking one. Yeah. Yeah, I'll drop these girls back in there. Could have knocked them off. I guess. Let's stay right there. I have a couple of them looking at me really closely. Usually when they're out. looking at me really closely, they are fixing to come at you and say, Hey, you don't belong here. And there's actually a special tool for picking them up. But usually, oh god. Mm -hmm. There they go. They're going to be mad now. Yep, they are. Right on my hand foot. Anyhow. Oh, yeah. See? See the big ones? Those are drone cones. Or drones. The male. These are all female and those are the males. Actually, that's a lot of them. Drones? Yeah. I wonder why that is. It's hard to see. There's not much sunlight there. <coughs> I'm looking for some older broods or young broods. Can't grab it. I mean, these must be just hatched. Okay. Oh, it's coming out of the. Hmm? It's coming off of the tray. It's been a while since I've done this, so I can see the honey coming out of that. Yeah, well, it's a little bit of honey. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, bees. Look like it's stung. Let me squirt my feet. Uh, you know, it's the only place that can actually sting me is my feet right now. they could sting me anywhere. Pretty much. sunlight so I can't tell if there's any fresh fruit in here. Oh, there's one in my foot. No, it's in my pants. Right link. Yeah. I'm going to leave those alone for the rest of them in case it's, uh, we don't have a clean and those don't need to be clean cells. And I'm going to have to look it up later on. Double check. And I'm going to get this stuff off the top. And they all have brood. That looks like... I should be looking for a queen, but the queen is incredibly hard to find. It's a drone, I think. Huh? Yeah, they might be able to sting you through those pants, though. Of course, they could sting me through the shirt. If you want to? I'm just, I'm just buzzing, or I mean, I'm just trying to keep her feet. One is a little sore over there on that left side. Yeah, they don't hold together anymore. Well, there's one in my right knee. I can feel it buzzing around. Your knee? Yeah, right on top of my knee. I don't know what I can do to get under there. Hang on. Sorry, wrong one. I don't see that. Can you get me a match, Aaron? Taking so long doing this. I'm running out of smoke. They're buzzing. Looks like I got some map points. Come on. I can't see if there's any brood or not. I say there's pollen. There is. The different colors there are pollen. You can see it. The slightly yellow is a pollen. 
ideally you have the sun and I'll help you see those little bitty baby tiny baby bees in there but can't see it and about near impossible to find queen Looking for a, a the queen is a looks like a cockroach, but they're so hard to find. And ideally, you look if you can't see the queen, you look for a brood, fresh brood. You see them laying the honey in there, the shiny. And this is heavy. There's some brood in there though. I still don't see a queen though. There's honey there, you can see it. Oh yeah. Did you do that? There's brood, what? Break it open to see the honey? No, it's broken open on its own. Alright. Let's get in there. Uh, the queen's got to be there, that many bees. Yeah, but she's not laying in bit. She could be. I just, I can't see the, I can't see the brood right now. Drawn out, I guess. None of them are drawn out. Alright, that's good. Now, the thing is about these bee suits is you gotta be careful not to let your nose touch it because they'll sting me right through the, the, the mesh. Yeah, they're just a hair, there's a little space, like even like. Can you spray across the top? and he's okay if he looks like he's going to do something. Uh, he Alright, and they haven't been here long enough to do that box either. So we're going to throw this one there. I don't have another one. I hope so. It's really hot around this right there. I think at the top. I just saw one fly off. I'll give him a nice vent. Keep them cool in this weather. Oh, that's a nice one. It's better than the wood one. Yeah, I know. Where'd you get that one? I don't know. It was in the dust. Huh. All right. And that is one. I'm going to go do this other one. Um, Battery run out on that one. Battery run out on that one. Just watch those bees. So pull off all that radical honeycomb. Turn up the two bees up in here. Kaylee says, "How are ya?" Oh, hot. We good. Tell them, tell them that my cat showed back up. <laughs> You guys didn't hear. Theo showed up about 10 minutes after that live. <laughs> okay, enough. Yeah.
if you see all these burr crumbs right in the middle between the frames, that's not good for inspection and being able to inspect. That's why I wanted to get in here and open up the hive. Are we going to need some more crates? Yeah, I'll have to burn another one. So I can clean it up here so it's easier to inspect and it doesn't cause damage every time I open it up. I'm still looking for a queen, but my eyesight on the queens are not that great. Ooh, another full box of brood though. And here, another side. They're fixing a double on the side. Yeah. Mm, I'm so glad you're back, honey. Where you been? Where you been?